Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ella and welcome to my channel where I make tech related videos. And today I'm going to talk about, yep, monitors and specifically why I think that a 4K monitor is worth it for computer science and software engineering. But first, a sponsor message. Are you looking for an affordable Windows 10 license? Please check out vipkeysale.com. You can get Windows 10 Pro for around $15 USD. First, enter my discount code, then submit the order, then open up Windows settings, click here, then here, and finally click here. Then just enter the activation key and you're all set. Enjoy Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so first let me talk about why a monitor is definitely a good investment for computer science students and developers. By the way, I am currently a student in university studying computer science. Okay, so the first reason is that a monitor allows you to sit in a much better posture than if you were to just sit in front of your laptop. Typically, when you're sitting in front of your laptop, you're kind of in a more hunched over position. And usually developers spend several hours sitting in front of their computer and I am no doctor but it is definitely not great to sit in a hunched over position for a long period of time and a monitor will allow you to be able to do your work while sitting back instead of being hunched over and of course sitting back and looking straight ahead at your work is much better than being hunched over and looking downwards I'm not going to get too much into desk ergonomics in this video because I'm not an expert in that but if you're interested in learning more about desk ergonomics then I'll leave a good video that I found down below that helped me better understand desk ergonomics. Of course, bad posture can also be fixed by just getting a laptop stand. However, there's also a huge benefit to working on a bigger screen. And of course, a monitor screen, even a 24 inch monitor screen is much bigger than the screens of most laptops. I think especially for programming, being able to see many things on your screen at once is very important and can definitely help boost your overall efficiency and productivity. In my own experience, I find that working on a programming project on my big monitor screen is just much easier and much more enjoyable than trying to do it on my laptop screen, even though my laptop screen is pretty big too. It's easier simply because I can see more lines of code at once, so I can more easily see and understand the overall code structure. Debugging is also much easier and faster when you can see more things at once. Typically, the debugger might jump through different lines of code. When the debugger is jumping around to different places in your program, the more lines of code you see, so the more context you have, the easier it is to understand like what's going on and therefore be able to debug what the issue is. So yeah, those are just a few of the benefits of being able to see more things on your screen. There are so many other reasons, but I won't go into all of them in this video. Okay, so I definitely think there is a huge benefit to being able to see more things on your screen at once. However, the amount of things that you can see comfortably at once on your screen is actually not just dependent on the monitor size, but instead it is dependent on the resolution, how far you sit from your monitor, so the view distance between your eyes and your monitor and also the monitor size which then brings me to why I think that a 4k monitor is worth it for comp sci and software engineering and the reason is because a 4k monitor can allow you to see more things on your screen at once than a 2k monitor or a 1080 monitor okay so I'm going to attempt to explain exactly why a 4k monitor will allow you to see more things on your screen at once than a 2k monitor by counting the number of lines of code you can see. So a 4K monitor has 3840 pixels horizontally and 2160 pixels vertically. Now on my monitor, which is a 4K monitor, I'm going to first set it to more space, which is the maximum amount of space. Then, as you guys can see, the maximum number of lines of code displayed at once is 114 lines. And now we're going to do a little bit of math. I'm going to find the vertical pixel length that each line of code takes up by dividing 2160 by 114. And let's round this number to 19. So each line of code takes up roughly 19 pixels vertically. Now, I don't have a 2K resolution monitor, but I can find out the maximum number of lines of code displayed at once on a 2K monitor by doing some 
calculations. So a 2K monitor has 1440 pixels vertically, so the maximum number of lines of code displayed at once is 1440 divided by 19, which roughly rounds to 76. So at maximum, a 4K monitor can display 114 lines of code, whereas a 2K monitor at maximum can only display around 76 lines of code. Now, I cannot comfortably see 114 lines of code, so I'm going to increase the scale of my display to where it's comfortable for me. And I can see around 88 lines of code at once comfortably, which is still more than 76 lines, which is the maximum number of lines of code that a 2K monitor can display at once. So yeah, I hope this explanation made sense. In general, a 4K monitor will allow you to see more things at once than a 2K monitor possibly could. And also 4K monitors are really not that much expensive than 2K monitors. As you guys can see, 4K monitors are around three to $400, with some even being around 200 some dollars, while 2K monitors are also around $300, with some also being in the $200 some area. So price point wise, they are really quite simple. Similar. Okay, so now you may be wondering why not 5K or 6K or 7K or 8K? Well, the simple reason is 5K monitors, well, 5K and beyond monitors are just really expensive. So yeah, that's why I think that a 4K monitor is worth it for computer science and software engineering and is also the best choice for most computer science students and developers. It allows you to see more things on your screen at once than a 2K and 1080D monitor, and it's also really not that much more expensive than a 2K monitor. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts on this then be sure to leave a comment down below i read pretty much all of my comments if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you want to continue to support my tech content i also have a few links down below i have a link to a chrome extension that i made and also my instagram and my twitch so if you want to check those out then feel free to do so and yeah that will be it i will be back soon with more tech related videos so i hope to see you in another one of my videos bye